Hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining how to form a quadratic equation. But before that we need some background information and concept to solve a math. So I will explain the concepts first and then we will see some examples. So suppose this is a quadratic equation uh, where coefficient of x square is a, coefficient of x is b and the term uh, remaining term without any x or x square is c. So suppose x square minus 5x plus 4, this is a quadratic equation. So we can find the values of a, b and c from the equation. For example, coefficient of x square is 1, coefficient of x is b, so we need to include the sign too. So b is minus 5 and c is 4. So if we solve this middle term equation, we get two values of x, right? So if we solve this, we get 1 and 4. So these values of x are called roots of the equation. So we need to we need to know two formulas regarding roots of the equation. Sum of the roots is minus b by a and product of the roots is c by a. So since we know the values of a, b and c, by replacing this, we can find the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. So you may think that why do we need these formulas? Since we know the values of x, right, we can just add them up to find the sum. But there might be an equation where these uh, terms are unknown. For example, this is p, this is k. In that case, we cannot solve the middle term to get the values of the roots. So that's when these formulas are helpful. Okay, now we will see how to form a quadratic equation given that we already know the roots. For example, the two roots are 4 and 1 and we need to form the quadratic equation. So there is a formula for this, x square minus sum of the roots, okay, into x plus product of the roots equals to 0. So this is your formula. So if I substitute the values, sum of the roots is what? 4 plus 1, 5x. Product is 4 into 1, 4. So this is the quadratic equation. So if we cross check with the last one, for example this one, the equation was x square minus 5x plus 4. x square minus 5x plus 4. So this might sound lame at this uh, at this time, uh, time because uh, we are using the numerical values, uh, but in math, they will give you some unknown terms. That's when these formulas are required to solve the equation or to form an equation. So basically, whatever the situation is, to find, uh, to find a quadratic equation, we need to find the sum and the product. That's it. And then put the values in this equation. Okay, so let's see an example math where... Uh, we need to f uh, find a quadratic equation whose roots are 3 alpha and 3 beta. What are alpha and betas? So usually after solving a middle term equation, we get the values of x, right? But this can be represented as x1 and x2. Okay, but instead of using x1, x2, we will be using these terms alpha and beta. So one of the roots is alpha and another root is beta. So alpha and beta will be used for representing the roots of any equation instead of x and x1 or x2. So suppose um, in this one, we need to find a quadratic equation with these given roots. So if we start solving this, like I said, we need to find the sum and the product, right? So if we start finding the sum, 3 alpha plus 3 beta we cannot solve it because the values of alpha and beta are unknown right so that's why they have given some extra information that given that the roots of the equation this are alpha and beta that is we know a quadratic equation x square minus 6x plus 8 this equation has two roots alpha and beta and we need to find another quadratic equation and roots are 3 alpha, 3 beta. 
common sense if we have one quadratic equation after a middle term we get values of x but for a different quadratic equation the roots will be different the values of x will be different so that's why we are given one equation and roots of this equation are alpha beta and we need to find another different quadratic equation so that's why they have different roots 3 alpha and 3 beta so to find this new equation we need these values so by solving this equation we can find the values of this alpha plus beta and we will see so from this equation if we need to find the sum of the root what was the formula the formula was minus b by a so sum means we need to add the roots for this equation the roots are alpha and beta so if we add them up alpha plus beta equals minus b b is what minus 6 a is what 1 so alpha plus beta equals to 6 similarly there was another formula product of the root was c by a so product means uh, we need to multiply the roots so alpha into beta equals c is 8 divided by 1 so alpha beta is 8 now we can substitute these values here for example alpha plus beta is 6 so that's how we get the sum then if we need to find the product what are the roots 3 alpha and 3 beta so 3 alpha into 3 beta so 3 3 is a 9 alpha beta where do we get these values alpha beta is 8 so this and this is the formula for the equation so x is square minus sum sum is 18 product is 72 so this is the quadratic equation so if i summarize the whole situation uh, we are given one quadratic equation and roots of the equation uh, roots of the equations are alpha and beta and we need to find another different quadratic equation so that for that we have different roots 3 alpha and 3 beta to solve this we need values of alpha plus beta alpha into beta otherwise we are not going to get any numerical values right so for that we can use this equation so at first we need to form these equations so that values can be substituted later to get the numerical values and that's how we get the new quadratic equation with the help of another quadratic equation so let's see another example initially we have an equation 3x square minus 7x minus 2 equation is this and roots of the equation are alpha and beta so if we find sum minus b by a sum is what alpha plus beta b is minus 7 a is 3 so alpha plus beta equals 7 by 3 next we will find product of the roots c by a so alpha into beta c is minus 2 a is 3 so minus 2 by 3 this is alpha into beta so always find the sum and the product of the given equation so that we can substitute the values later so now that we need to find a new quadratic equation with these roots 2 alpha plus uh, 2 alpha plus 1 2 beta plus 1 so for any quadratic equation this is the formula we need to find the sum and the product so for the new equation roots are this one not alpha beta so this new roots are added 2 alpha plus 1 2 beta plus 1 so 2 alpha 2 beta 1 plus 1 is 2 so if we take 2 common then alpha plus beta then substitute the value of alpha beta 7 by 3 so we get 20 by 3 next we need to find the product 
product with the new roots right 2 alpha plus 1 2 beta plus 1 so at first I will multiply 2 alpha with this whole thing so 2 alpha into 2 beta is 4 alpha beta plus 2 alpha into 1 now I will multiply 1 with these two terms so 2 beta plus 1 so here 4 alpha beta alpha beta is what minus 2 by 3 and if we take 2 common then alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is 7 by 3 plus 1 so this will give us 3 therefore equation of the root equation the quadratic equation is x square minus sum of the root which is 20 by 3x plus product of the root but usually the middle term in the middle term equation we have integers here only so if we take 3 lcm and then simplify the final result will be 3x square minus 20x plus 3 equals to 0 sorry plus 9 equals to 0 so here is a third, a third example we have this equation and the roots are alpha and beta we need to find a new quadratic equation with new roots 2 by alpha 2 by beta so even if we already have the roots we cannot start the math with this one like i said we do not know the values of alpha and beta so we'll we will always start the math with the given equation so if this is the given equation sum of the root is alpha plus beta equals what minus b by a so minus b is what minus 4 minus minus a. minus minus gives us plus so alpha plus beta is 4 next we need to find the product product is alpha into beta equals to c by a so minus 5 divided by 1 so minus 5 so we can directly solve this without even writing the formulas so now that we know the values of this we can start with our equation that we need to find actually so these are the main roots so at first we will find the sum of the roots 2 by alpha 2 by beta so if we take alpha beta lcm of alpha beta then we get here 2 beta 2 alpha so by substituting the values we get a numerical value here so alpha beta is 4 so 4 to the 8 alpha beta is minus 5 so this gives us minus 8 by 5 right and then then if we need to find the product just multiply the roots so this will give us 4, 2 to the 4 divided by alpha beta alpha beta is minus 5 so the final result is minus 4 by 5 so now that we know the sum and product therefore we can find the equation x square minus sum of the roots sum is what minus 8 so plus 8 by 5 x plus product of the root product is negative so minus 4 by 5 equals to 0 so if we take the LCM so 5x square plus 8x minus 4 equals 0 so if we multiply 5 and cross uh, shift 5 in the right side of the equation it becomes 0 so the final result is 5x square plus 8x minus 4 equals 0 so this is your final quadratic equation.